In this video, I'll show you how to remotely provision a Yale Link device for Microsoft Teams using Microsoft's Teams Admin Center. This would be useful to you if you're not able to be locally on site, but you have a technician or maybe even the end user themselves who can finish this process. My name is Bogdan Schperny, founder of Apex One Tech. All my content is free to you. All I ask is that you subscribe and smash the like button. Now, the first step is to acquire the MAC address. And in this example, we'll be using the Yale Link MP56. Uh, this is right here, so that's the model right there. So this is on the back, on the bottom of the phone. First, this is on top, that's the serial number and the MAC address down here. So that's option one. Option two is to go onto your web browser and you just type in HTTPS colon four slash four slash and the IP address of your device. Um, and I'm not gonna show how to get that, but uh, there's several ways, okay? You know, you just go onto your Wi-Fi controller, your router, and you can get the IP address that way. And also I'll show you in option three, you can also acquire your IP address. So anyways, you can do that. Uh, and then the default login is admin, admin, all lowercase. And once you log in, it's going to bring you to the status page here. So the MAC address right here, I just have it blurred out. And then also your IP address will be here, of course, but you already have that. So yeah, that's the second way. And now option three here, and I'm just mirroring the Yell Link device, the desk phone to my screen here. So this is the same thing. So when you first boot up, this is what it looks like, and you can direct your end user to go through this, but they just need to select the language first, and then they need to do the time zone, although you can you know fix this remotely as well. Okay, so you just tap which one you need here, and then you know always make sure you hit that check mark at the top right. So now here, you can click on this gear setting icon, and then you'll get the settings menu, click on device settings, or tap, and scroll down to about, tap on that. And there's your Mac address, so the end user can read that out to you. And also if you need to log in remotely, you know, the IP address is there as well. But let's let's click back and just exit back out. All right, there we go. Okay, so now to provision a device, we go to admin.teams.microsoft.com, right? Uh, which is just Microsoft Teams Admin Center. And then under Teams Devices, go to Phones. So right now we don't have anything set up, but we just go all the way to the right. And at the top right, you will go to Actions, Provision Devices. So here under waiting on activation, if you just want to add a single device, just click add Mac addresses manually, or you can also upload a CSV file, it would be very similar. So we are doing a Mac address, kind of gives you the format here. So we'll just paste that in. And the location, so this one's going to Auburn, California. Uh, I might just want California, United States, but let's see, so click save. Then we want to select a device or multiple devices if you had more and just click generate verification code. And at this point, you know, if you had multiple devices, you can just give this to whoever needs it. And I'll show you that next step, the verification code. Or if you had a long list, you can export this uh, to an Excel file. Now this last part is for the person locally on site. So you want to go ahead and direct them to hit that gear icon at the top right then click on provision device and this is where they enter the verification code so we have one nine four one seven nine and then next and you should see this device provision successfully and in this case they should see at top the name of the organization which is seller apex in this example and that's how you know it was actually was provisioned Right, now we can sign in a user to that device. You want to refresh this page first of all, then click waiting for sign in, select the device, click sign in a user. Okay, and while this is happening, the device will show this page, okay, administrator signing into the device. That's just something for the end user to know. Then in the Teams Admin Center, this will take a while to generate, but once it does, we'll go ahead and follow these steps. So let's open the URL. We want to copy this code, click next.
Okay, so we're signed in and the device is going to say signing in. It's, it's essentially going to be the same as the end user signing in. This is just for a new account, signing you in, all, this, all the same kind of things. And now the desk phone shows that the user is all signed in, which in this example is just myself, but it's all good to go. And back in Teams Admin Center, you can, of course, close this, just hit refresh. And now if we go to Teams Devices, Phones, there we go. We see the user that's signed in and everything's set. So we can provision from here if we need to assign a configuration, how it updates, when it updates, all sorts of settings there. And you can go here, by the way, configuration profiles, click add. Let me just show you what the options here are. So you can name it and just to show you, so you can see what's available. And this is again, a yay link MP56, uh, but they'll be all pretty similar. Hit the like button and subscribe if you learned something new and this was helpful to you, you were able to do this. If you have any questions, post in the comment section below. I'll have videos up other ways you can set up this Teams phone and just different ways you can get the Teams phone system running. So check that out on the screen or in the description. Thanks for watching, take care.